hello guys welcome to my channel svdm asa saint tech in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you could add fonts in Clita. so select new file or press ctrl plus n on your keyboard this uh, window will show up creating a uh, create new document in Clita. so don't mind about the way different height that i have here you could just copy my settings so i would recommend you go straight on selecting create and once you have selected create uh, this drawing area will show up and once the drawing area has shown up here i'm zooming in and zooming out using my mouse wheel so go to your left hand side where you're seeing these tools and uh, on the left hand side where you're seeing these tools you could uh, select text tool so once you have selected the text tool the, this is like the t symbol that is here it's for the text tool go on your drawing area here let me just uh, let, me, let me just leave it like this and hold the left hand side a left hand button on your key mouse hold and drag like you're highlighting or copying something so once you have hold it like that um this uh tool will show up this uh a text edit text in clear this will show up so um you could edit here where i've highlighted here you could press hold a text this is where you can light your text in clear so let me just light google google let me let google here google once i've written google i can uh go down here and press save press save so here the words have changed it's now google you could see here once i pressed save um once i press save uh the changes appeared on on on, on the uh, drawing area so but i want this i may i want to make this uh, text a little bit bigger so i will highlight the words google I'll go on the font size which is the number here defaultly it's on nine font size i'll select the font size i'll scroll down a bit and i'll select 47 let's see how that looks and i'll press save again so i've, I've selected the font size to be 40, uh, 48 and then saved saved it so that's how it's looking right now so i i still need to change the font because here it's on segu ui the font family that is so i know for for a fact that uh, google font is actually product SaaS, and i have it already installed so i'll just select product product SaaS. i'm writing product SaaS. it's already here so i'll press enter and then it has changed here but it hasn't changed the change isn't reflecting on on what i'm working on so what i'll do now is i'll go i'll, I'll go here and press save again and then the changes are now visible and after this what i'll do is i'll go here on the color i'll go on the color here and i'll select uh, select color i'll select this drop down what i want to do right now is to make my words black so i'll select the the, the the color pigment of black so once i've selected black here i'll select save um now my google uh text has has been uh, is now black and i'm not really happy with with this it's it's looking a little bit thin so what i'll do here is on the still the text tool i'll select b here which is making it a little bit broad so as you can see here uh, broad or you could just do control plus b on your keyboard and i will select save again so this is actually now board and uh here i can now lightfully exit and now i have uh my google text now you could look you could look at it and uh, look at the layer side here the layer side is literally on the pen layer side is literally on the light hand side so you could see here it's a vector layer so you don't need a vector layer actually a vector layer you cannot edit it in creator you cannot edit it but now what i would do is i already have this moving tool here which is automatically selected but you could also select it by going to the left hand side and selecting here the press symbol which is actually move move a layer or you could press t on your keyboard so i've selected it and i have selected also the text that is in my drawing area and i'm going to drag it to the center not to the center exactly but i'm gonna drag it somewhere here so i have my google text here and it's a vector so what i want to do here is i will go to the layer vector layer i'll select uh, i will click the light button uh, the light button on my keyboard it will come to this this will show up the properties will show up these options i mean 
so i would select convert to paint layer because maybe i would like to paint it so now it's no longer a vector but it's a paint layer so i'll also add a new layer and i'll show you how i download different fonts because i have a lot of fonts so I'll go on to google here i can just select uh, i could just select products as product uh product uh, product source font family okay font family download so here i'm just typing maybe if you don't have the product size family uh font so i could, I could go anywhere here and uh, select that and i've selected a website called free fonts family so i believe here I could download this so let me just scroll down to where they have the download button so i think they have it here let me just clear up the ads um i've selected the download button and i believe it's going to start let me just open my download up like this so i'm waiting for it to that to download let me also download something else um uh, google addisons addisons uh logo icon transparent transparent png download okay so here like you could see my download my, my download has actually worked it's a zip far so i'm gonna download this and uh, i believe it's already done here uh let me go on downloading this it's it's an icon for google so google adsense that is it's transparent it's a banner let me just also look at the other things that they're going to show me so what i want i wanted is just something like this that's what i wanted uh, let me clear up the ads i just wanted something like this uh i just want to show you guys something so here i could press download here and i'm downloading it i think it's gonna work but again let me show you the phone that i've downloaded it's here let me uh let me open it let me open it straight so i'm opening it straight uh okay i'm opening the phone that i've downloaded and i'm also uh the picture that that that, that we have downloaded is coming up so uh of course there's a problem so let me go to my download folder here to my download folder and um, I'm going to my download folder here uh, congratulations for you have successfully sure so uh, why is it so we're going to find this in our download folder so let, let me just go straight to my download folder here it's taking me a while but hang in there so this is the picture that I wanted so let me just drag this and drop it in Krita. I'll add it in Krita here. So I'll select as a new layer, insert as a new layer, because I don't want to open as a new document. So it's going to show up here. So it's it's a little bit huge. It's a little bit huge, but that's not much of a problem. So because what we're going to do here, it's going to uh, go to the left hand side of your um, of Krita and select that transformation tool, or you can just press Control plus Control plus T. So here I'm just going to go to this and uh, try my my level base to to scale it down. Try my level base to scale it down. It's not perfect, but it is still something. So it is not perfect as 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 I wanted, but it is still something. So you just have to scale it down to to size to size like this. And just press it somewhere in the middle like that and um, because we have also downloaded uh, the fonts let me just open my downloader here and uh, maybe open in a folder so it's uh, the folder is going to open like this so I'm just going to select extract here you need to have vanilla for this so extract to it will create a folder for me and I could select here and this is something that i can install these are the four, four this is a font that you could install the project size font it's a google font so here you you see you're seeing install here you can install and it finishes just because i think it is done it's done already it is quite quick and if i 
um, if I uh, cross my, my, my creator or go to the text layer as I've already shown you and highlight here, I could literally find again my product size which I have just installed which I can find here. Sometimes you need to reset your, this is product size, the one that maybe I just installed. Sometimes you need to, um, sometimes you need to, sometimes you may need to, uh, let, let me light AdSense, uh, how do you even light AdSense here? So let me just light AdSense here. Maybe light it like that. Sometimes you may need to restart Krita to get the font that you want if it's not appearing. But for for this one, uh, because I already have it, I think it, that's when it's showing up. But let's say if you have managed to download the font and they are not showing up, what you need to do is simply um, let me just move it as well here. When they are not showing up, uh, what you need to do is just simply restart Krita. So let's go on to Google again. I just want to. I just want us to. Uh, let's type in Google AdSense. Google AdSense uh, AdSense logo. Let's just have that to see how close we are to to, to making to making something that's similar to to what Google has already. So let let me just open on on images and see for ourselves what we have. Um, okay, so this is uh, Google Images, so there's AdSense here, so that's how you type it. I mean, I've made a mistake here, but it's, it's not it's not a big thing. It's not a big thing. I think there's a capital letter A somewhere, but this is still decent. This is still decent for someone who's just, you know, designing something for fun. This is still decent, guys. So this is how you could access uh, fonts, how you could install fonts in Krita. I urge you guys to hit the subscribe button. I don't do many tutorials right now because I'm busy working on this other YouTube channel as well. But I would recommend that you subscribe still. I'll be uploading uh, more videos. Thank you.